going on everyone? In today's video, I wanna go over a warm up utilizing one of my favorite tools, which is the kettlebell. This is a great way to get the body prepared for any type of workout that you might have ahead, whether that be just a general workout or if you're getting yourself prepared for a sport. So grab yourself probably a five to 15 pound kettlebell and we will get into it. The first thing that we're gonna do is just get familiar with a swing, kind of going side to side here. So all you can do is just kind of take your arm through this range of motion and just kind of get the gist of what the coordination is gonna be like for this. So what I like to envision is I'm going to the top of my shoulder on this side, then as I come out, I'm gonna turn my arm out, and then I come back to the top side of my shoulder here. So what we're gonna do is once we have the kettlebell is we're just gonna go bottom side up and we're just gonna work a pendulum just from one side to the other through there. So I'm gonna work a swing to a swing, swing to a swing. And for now, you don't even have to worry too much about this left arm. Just gonna get used to this rhythm and just trying to keep kind of a baseline of tension through that right shoulder. And then what we can start to do is incorporate this other arm into it. So then I can open up and pull in, open up, and pull in. What we'll work through is probably about 10 reps here. We'll go two more and one, and then we can switch. So then I'll come over and all I'm doing is just trying to keep my shoulders connected to this motion, not letting myself be all floppy, let my hips go all over the place. I'm trying to keep my feet root it into the floor and I'm just kind of generally working my body tension more or less around the rhythm of this kettlebell. And what you can imagine is I like to envision with my right arm so that I'm pulling a rope. So I kind of pull a rope and that's going to take me into this right oblique here. So that'll be the first round. Take your time going through that. Make sure that you're focusing on the quality of it not just going through for the sake of going through it. Next one is we're gonna get into a little bit more of a dynamic lunge. So what we can do for this one, is I'm gonna start with my left leg in front, and I'm just gonna work a swing going to the outside of my left leg. So I'm just gonna work a swing, going back and forth here. Again, we're just getting used to that pendulum motion, going back and forth, with most of my weight being on this lead leg. Now what I'm gonna do is once this kettlebell gets in front of me, so once it gets to there, I'm gonna pull that in, and I'm gonna go into about a half lunge going forward. So I'll back up a bit here. So I'll wait, then I'm gonna catch half lunge, then I'm back. Catch half lunge, and then I'm back. We'll do the same thing about 10 to 12 on this side as well. We'll go with two more. Got a little doggo joining us. Okay, we'll get into the other side. And what you can be mindful of here is kind of that weight transfer from one foot to the other. So when I'm going this other way, I'm gonna think about going on this right leg, transferring that over to my left. So I'm really trying to make that weight distribution transfer from one side to the other. I'm not just gonna stay on this right leg, for example, the whole time, because then the hips will just kind of sit back on this back leg, and we wanna to try to actually get the torso forward here. So we'll do the same thing. And you can see I kind of just pull myself into it, and then I bounce right out touch, then I'm right out. Let's go, two more. All right, so my arms are feeling nice and warmed up. My lower body's feeling warmed up. So let's connect both of those motions now through just a little bit of a lateral hop. So we're gonna take that swing out to the side 
and now I'm just going to take a side jump out. So, I'm going to go swing, and then touch. Swing, and touch. So all we're doing is taking the rhythm that we were doing here, now I'm just sidestepping into that. Swing, and I'm in. Same thing, go about 10 to 12 here, and just try to find kind of that harmony between having tension and rhythm in your body. We'll go one more. Switch that up. Staying nice and rooted through the legs here. So not letting myself disconnect from that ground. You'll notice if you do, you might be quite heavy on that back leg. That's gonna cause the hips, maybe the upper body to over rotate or shift in an awkward way. So just be mindful that you're kind of staying on top of the leg here. Can't emphasize that enough. So if I go too far back, now nah, I won't have stability. Let's finish up. And that is good there. So those are three exercises, incorporating a good rhythm and integration of the shoulders. You get the front and back motion into the lunge, incorporating the legs. Now we can tie that all together with that lateral hop and that rhythm. Hope you guys enjoyed this warm up video. You can tell I'm definitely warm. Even got a little bit of a sweat here on a nice fall day. If you guys did enjoy content like this, then don't be afraid to like this video as well as subscribe. Even share it with someone who you think might find value in content like this, or maybe even find it useful. And until next time, make sure that you are prioritizing and then you're optimizing. Take care until next time, guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh